What's up guys, it's Arib CS here, and let's talk about VeChain today. I've been getting a lot of questions about VeChain, and I think part of that is also people are looking at the rise of Chainlink and wondering how it compares. Uh, today I won't be making that comparison, I just want to talk about VeChain. Uh, these are very complex subjects that can take a lot of time. Uh, so let's just get right into VeChain. Uh, well, first of all, VeChain was founded in 2015 by Sunny Liu, the former CIO of Louis Vuitton China. And so he started off with a dream that actually, ironically, um, was on the Ethereum network. It was called the VEN token or VEN token. And so what I find interesting even today, now they've, in 2018, they transitioned to their own blockchain. Okay. And uh, the blockchain is really roughly based off Ethereum with some kind of, I say, improved changes to it. And um, so before we get, even consider this, uh, be very careful that if you are buying VeChain, Make sure that you understand that you see an address that looks just like Ethereum. Um, it is not a token on the Ethereum no network, although it uses um, basically what looks to be an Ethereum address. So uh, VeChain actually has its own blockchain. And so if you were to transfer money um, you know, in and out of the two, thinking they're the same, you could lose your, your VeChain. So be very clear and understand that the two chains are not connected. Uh, Ethereum and VeChain are distinctly separate. Um, it's almost like saying, could I transfer, um, I don't know, money between Litecoin and Bitcoin chains, right? They're, they are different, even though Litecoin and other coins that came after Bitcoin are kind of roughly derived from the same technology. So VeChain is kind of the same idea, um, but it focuses on uh, providing blockchain solutions uh, for actual industry. Okay, so uh, like the, you know, the food industry, the automobile industry. Right. And so what I find interesting, if you look at this here, um, they can show you all these industries they've actually deployed successful solutions in. OK, so a successful case here. Uh, so they're not saying which automobile manufacturer, uh, but they're saying it's a large one. Um, and so basically, yeah, they're using VeChain uh, to manage the automobile lifecycle management. OK, and look under solutions here. Let's look about, say, under logistics. Okay, and I like also how they explain, they understand the solution, and they also show that they actually implemented that solution, right? So again, they're saying well-known chain store, right, for so uh, cold chain logistics, uh, they've used a solution uh, on their blockchain that integrates IoT, right, uh, that stores different temperature and other stuff like that, I guess to make sure that uh, throughout the process um, that the, uh, the temperature was correct, in that cold chain, I guess you 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 don't want to have um, you know cold food that uh, thawed out and got sold back in the store. So it can provide a way of of guaranteeing uh, that uh, throughout the transport process that the uh, product uh, was at the correct temperature. So I won't get to all these solutions. I just want to point out the fact that pretty much for all these types of areas in industry they talk about, they have working implemented solutions. If that's not enough, this is back in 2019. Uh, they show how Deloitte uh, dished Ethereum for VeChain, right? And they actually say that um, I think they like it better because VeChain provides more advanced features. And part of that is because if you look at Ethereum, it's very generic. Okay, it's kind of just um, providing transactions and smart contracts, but in a very generic way, whereas VeChain actually focuses on different supply chain issues directly. And clearly, companies like Deloitte and PwC uh, have taken notice, even BMW, right, are using VeChain. And so it's it's gone from, you know, the theoretical a long time ago uh, to something pretty mainstream. If you have these companies jumping on board, so guys, here's what it comes down to. A lot of people just aren't sure what's different about VeChain. Why do I need VeChain if there is Ethereum? How are they related? And so it is a bit confusing because VeChain uses essentially the same address format as Ethereum. But make no mistake, they are totally separate networks and separate chains. That means if you look at the address for a VeChain wallet, it looks the same as an Ethereum one. Um, so if you send though from Ethereum to that VeChain address, then you know you'll you'll lose your money. The person on on the VeChain network won't get it. So it is separate. VeChain is essentially derived from Ethereum of some new improved changes that are really customized for the supply chain industry. And that's why they've been so successful. Whereas Ethereum has a lot of holes in it, as I would say. Ethereum is great for generic smart contracts and ICOs. That's really the vehicle that has been used for. But I think the reason that uh, different organizations like, like PricewaterhouseCoopers and Deloitte have preferred VeChain and other manufacturers is because, like I said, it's customized for that. But what's actually different aside from that? Well, first of all, it's called POA. It is called 
proof of authority. So it doesn't depend like Ethereum on proof of work where you have to do all this mining and transactions to prove um, that the, uh, the transaction is valid. So that's what makes Ethereum uh, less efficient. So VeChain with its network of master nodes, um, they have authority. If it goes through a master node, then uh, you know that that's how they achieve consensus. So it's a lot more quick. Uh, it doesn't cost as much money. I'm also going to talk about the relationship now in terms of Ethereum's uh, gas and VeChain's VThor. So to have gas, really, you need to use your Ethereum. You have to spend Ethereum to be able to send Ethereum uh, tokens and Ethereum itself. And the cost can be quite high uh, because of Ethereum's value. Um, so they never thought that through uh, back at that time. So what VeChain has done is that they have two tokens. Uh, VeChain itself is kind of like the vehicle and smart contract and, and currency. Um, but VThor, VTho, the token name, that is something separate. So instead of having gas that we have to pay Ethereum, um, you don't pay out of VeChain to be able to send that. Um, VThor is a separate token that's used to settle those transactional fees. So by separating it, they can maintain a low stable uh, cost of, of sending VeChain. Right? So they don't want to have the problem that Ethereum has many other proof of work and other tokens and cryptocurrencies have. Uh, so that's how they solve that problem. Now, VThor is generated each time you send a transaction. You also receive V4 just by having VChain. Okay, but you can also buy it. Uh, and, you know, there's a whole article here that I'm on, as you can see here, if you want to know more inf information about it. The key thing to understand is that essentially VeChain is a more efficient Ethereum that's meant for the supply chain. And these are the benefits of it. And it's really a lot more efficient. It's quicker and cheaper to settle transactions and smart contracts on the VeChain network. And guys, if you want more information, you can also ask me to make another video about it. Let's look at the price. Um, you know, right now it is uh, 8.4 cents, right? Not long ago, it was less than two cents and obviously a lot less back then. If you look at the history of uh, VeChain, right? It wasn't even close to a cent uh, a long time ago, right? Uh, so look at where it is now, right? It's gone here. I think it's actually hit about almost 10 cents at, uh, at some points here. Uh, so VeChain is growing. It's the number 18 coin at this moment. And I do think the future is promising. Uh, I have to admit, I do hold some VeChain, uh, and I think it's um, I do think it's a great investment. I think it's a great value on the market. But not only that, I'm looking at the team. I'm looking at the companies that uh, are supporting. And look here, all the partnerships um, that they have here. Um, you look here on Coin Sutra. They give you a, a huge list of all the companies that they are partnered with, right? Uh, including Microsoft, uh, Hyperledger. Uh, so a lot of huge projects, huge companies that are using VeChain. So I think the future is great for it, guys. And I really hope this has been helpful and hopefully somewhat insightful to know, um, do you think VeChain is a strong, viable solution? And my answer is yes, I do think it is. And I'm very excited about VeChain. There are obviously many other products out there and projects uh, that focus on the supply chain. Uh, but what I find interesting about VeChain, they've actually successfully partnered and implemented uh, their solution in many different industries. And I think that's why it's growing. I think people are starting to take notice of it. And I think the future will be bright for VeChain. No one knows for sure. There's so many competing products out there. And I will talk about some of the other ones in the future, guys. Uh, but I do think that uh, for where it is today, I think that uh, VeChain is uh, a great value uh, for what it is. And if it were me, I would recommend to friends and family to go in and get some VeChain and some VeFo uh, if you believe uh, in it as I see it here. So guys, this has been Areeps US here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.